welcome everyone out to Dexter, Georgia. We're here for the Christmas Parade. I'm Ron Deal along with James Deal, and we are both here today because we are extremely excited about the Grand Marshal, aren't we? Oh my goodness. Of all the years we've done it, we've had some really good Grand Marshals. This, the Dexter Parade, they just take it a notch up, but this year is especially personal to us. It is. It is. Nelda Knight is the Grand Marshal now. If anyone knows Nelda, she is a very hard-working lady. Amen. She uh, volunteers all of her time. I, I don't know of any time. I know she worked earlier. She was a decorator in the community. I know before that she kept books. She worked around the, you know, the farm industry some as a, a young lady. Uh, she was born a Smith uh, out on Smith Road in Cadwell, Georgia. Her mom and daddy loved her a lot, I could tell, and that's why she's such a compassionate yeah. person. Still farmland out there. The house she grew up in still stands on, on uh, Smith Road. In, in Cadwell, married a uh, Monroe, and uh, and he passed away. She has Hal, her son, you mm -hmm. know, uh, Hal and Tammy, right? And then they have two sons, and then a grandson, and yeah. so she she loves her family so much. Spends a lot of time uh, with the women's auxiliary at the hospital. She spends so many hours every time I'm at Fairview Park Hospital. Nelda is there. She's she basically. I, there's no telling the hours, hours that she has spent there. Yeah. And you know, a couple years ago, she received that volunteer award yeah. Yeah. out of all the volunteers out there. But I want to go back. You was talking about Nelda working. Uh, I got to tell this story about Nelda. But um, her husband asked her one day. Said, uh, "Now, honey." when you go into work and she said go to work that's why i married you i'm not going to work yeah she said i'm going to volunteer my time and spend time in the community and the reason i tell that is that is nelda's love for this community it is spent a lot of time with women's auxiliary recognized a couple of times as volunteer of the year from fairview park with the pink ladies they've given so much money to many of you in the community to be able to go on to college many doctors and others in our community at women's auxiliary gave a lot of money over the years yeah. to people in our community who've been able to go on and then come back to our community and serve us so it's just the rewards that she has uh, presented to us is, is just amazing also uh, you know she was on the original board with the uh, Alzheimer's Association AFAC on that original board with Kimball Faircloth with uh, uh, Quentin Price with so many that sat there yeah. and that raised the money yeah. and we started in 99 with a telethon and continued for many years, and, and Nelda pretty well single-handedly has raised hundreds, and, and, and I want you to get that part right, hundreds of thousands of dollars, about $300,000. She did the work. She, she told us what to do, and when yeah. we did assist her, but yeah. she got out, and those of you watching us today that owns any kind of business knows <laughs> Nelda knocked on your door. Yeah. Uh, she is a wonderful person, and this very parade, this 12th annual parade that we're about to begin, you hear the sirens in the background, but she is an organizer of this. The city council and city manager yeah. voted to start this, mm -hmm. but couldn't kind of kick it off, so who'd they turn to? Nail tonight. Yeah, and I just want to say she is the daughter of Emmett and Annie Maud Smith. That's her parents. Well, good. And we're about to begin this 12th annual parade here in downtown Dexter. So here we go. One thing that stands out to me in this Dexter parade is all the Dublin entries, Dublin Fire Department, Chief Tim Chapman, people like that. Yeah. Well, in, in getting out and, and drumming up the people to be in the parade with Nelda, going around on a limited basis, she works so hard all over our community. When Nelda Knight asks you to do something, a lot of times you're going to do it. Most people are going to they're going to come on along. As it's a lot of hard work has gone into this, and here's the very first uh, people in Lawrence County. Sheriff Department, Chris Bracewell. Of course, Sheriff Larry Dean, who worked so hard in our community. You know, they would tell you the same things, James, that how much Nelda Knight's done for our community. So we hope you all have a Merry Christmas as we start with our first Christmas parade here in Dublin and Lawrence County. Always start off with law enforcement and fire department. We we'll always start off with a lot of noise. Always start off with a siren. As we mentioned, we have a lot of our Dublin uh, law enforcement coming through. We mentioned uh, here comes Chief Tim Chapman. Yep. And uh, what an honor for Chief Chapman to come and be a part of this parade. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. 
and of course our Dublin Police Command Center. This is something we're really proud of right here. Richard Brantley, graduate of 1978 East Lawrence High School. Uh, we've been friends over 50 years here in the Lawrence County area. And of course, following up, one of our brand new Dublin police cars with Captain Champion and Skip Lowry coming along in that beautiful Dublin City Police Vehicle. And of course, our Lawrence Fire Honor Guard. They do a wonderful job in our community. And this one of our trucks we're proud of here, our Lawrence County Fire and Rescue. So much investment goes into what equipment that we have, James. Lawrence County just head and shoulders above communities our size with what we go after, what grants we get, what money is invested to be able to protect our citizens. Hats off to Don Bryant, the job he's done over the years. And coming up next, our Campbell Fire Department. Go dogs! I've seen, I've seen a lot of Georgia Bulldog signs today. We'll take you back just a little bit. Can't fight that, can you? Can't fight City Hall. Talk about. Whoop. Yeah. And of course, our Lawrence County Medical Service. We have one of the finest, best trained EMTs, Matt Hatchett, our representative right here in Lawrence, Trutland, and Johnson counties. Merry, Merry Christmas, Matt. You talk about the Bulldogs, if we go back to Nelda Knight's high school days or school days at Cadwell, Cadwell at that time was the Bulldogs. Very appropriate for today. Trey Kemp, he's always in our parades here in a fitting red truck. Our Lawrence County Commissioner from District 2. Got those pretty kids in there with him. Now look who's coming now. A beautiful red or burgundy Mercedes. And who would that be? Juan Jose is driving and our guest of honor who is moving very slowly through and enjoying every moment of it, Miss Nelda Knight. Absolutely. And you heard us earlier uh, what Nelda does in our community and what an honor during this 12th annual Dexter Christmas Parade to have our Grand Marshal, Miss Nelda Knight. And we've got to stop this car here. The city manager is watching me right now. Our grand marshal that we've been talking about so much. How does it feel, Nelda? Great. Mm -hmm. Absolutely great. You've been so important in our Christmas parades here. You've got about 80 entries. This parade's come a long way, hasn't it? Yes, it has. But it's been a lot of work to do it. Yep, absolutely. It's a great day in Dexter. Well, Merry Christmas. Thank you. We love you so much. Love y'all, too. And got a great driver there. I'm telling you, how did you how did you get that? Well, I asked his wife if I could borrow him. <laughs> That's a good wife. Yes, it is. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Jose. Merry Christmas, y'all. Our Grand Marshal during our 12th annual Dexter Christmas Parade. There's no one more fitting to be our Grand Marshal today than Miss Nelda Knight. You heard us before the parade started with all her accolades, and we could never even name all the things that Nelda has done for this community. Bro, this stuff is on fire. Someone better call the fire department. Woo! State Farm knows that for every one of those moments, there's one of these. Bro, your stuff is on fire. Someone better call the fire department. Uh, yeah, you should call the fire department. This is your stuff. More people save money by combining their home and auto with State Farm. Here to help life go right. Portions of this program are brought to you by Addington Place of Dublin. Addington Place of Dublin offers residents and their families a vibrant and active community they can call home.
With 45 assisted living apartments and 14 memory care apartments, each resident is able to enjoy the independence they want and the care they need in the comfort of a home-like environment. To schedule a tour today, call Addington Place of Dublin. Addington Place of Dublin, 212 Fairview Park Drive in Dublin. Coming up next, here's somebody that never misses a parade in that beautiful Corvette, Judge Tommy Bobbitt and his his beautiful wife right there. I am so glad you're driving him. Boy, everybody's hollering go dogs for some reason here. Uh, Janola Jackson, you can tell that it is election time, election eve coming up. Janola Jackson, she served in our probate court office for many, many years under Judge Harper and Judge Harper is retiring. And uh, you're gonna see in the parade today so many people that are running for these offices. So, uh, Ms. Janola Jackson. And coming up behind Janola is Capital City Bank. Here come the reindeers, Capital City Bank, Miss Janie Stewart, all these beautiful kids, the reindeers. Merry Christmas. Sweet, sweet people right here. And we've got someone throwing candy at us. Singo, pest control is our next entry here. Santa is coming to town. He's Andy Smith, to town. yeah, go ahead and sing it for us. <laughs> I'll pass. We've got some good entertainment here. Andy Smith in this 77 Trans Am. If y'all have seen that, on Smokey and the Bandit, we saw that car, not that car, but one like it, jump a many a, many a water hole, I guess is the best way to say it, but that's a beautiful car right there. Here's our beautiful queen from Southwest Lawrence Elementary. Isn't that some beautiful girls right there? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Right, and next, we have Southwest Lawrence Little Raider cheerleaders. They got the wave down, don't they? Our queen's coming through, taking pictures of us. I don't know about that. I don't know. Now, we're not supposed to get pictures took of us. Look at that beautiful girl. Merry Christmas. Here come the cheerleaders right here from Southwest Lawrence. They are number one, our Southwest Lawrence cheerleaders. I'm glad to say we've locked up the Grinch this year. Well, I was about to run when I saw the Grinch coming, but he does have bars around him, so uh, I don't know who let the Grinch in. <laughs> That's good. That's good, man. I like that, man. <laughs> Lawrence County Sheriff's Office. No, I don't like the Grinch. No. No. Oh, there's the share. I feel better now. Get that Grinch out of here. <laughs> Progressive rule telephone. Now, here's a community survey here, Ron. It, it, they sponsor so many things in our community, and we appreciate the guys at Progressive Rule. Don't Come, we, though? Coming up next, another candidate for the probate judge office, Jason Locke from Dudley, Georgia, over here at the Dexter Parade. Mr. Jason Locke coming through here. How y'all doing? Merry Christmas. Good. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas. And coming up next, Jason Locke. <laughs> <laughs> Got some great supporters here. And uh, Jason is a wonderful guy. He's served our community for many years. He's the mayor of Dudley, and he is running for Lawrence County Probate Judge. Merry Christmas, y'all. All right, got some good supporters there. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today right here on TV 35 for our 12th annual Dexter Christmas Parade. We're right here in downtown Dexter, and you'll see in the backdrop as we film the parade today, First Lawrence Bank. They are a sponsor of this parade today. 
We want to thank Ben Bradshaw and all the fine folks at First Lawrence Bank. Daryl Howard from Riverside Ford is our next entry here. I want to thank Daryl for joining us today in the parade. Man, is that a cool ride or what? Mount Carmel Church, Fire Department. Only thing that's on fire over there is for the Lord. Amen. And they put that entry in the parade every year. I uh, want to thank them for being a part of the parade. Next, Myers Equipment. Yeah, Myers Equipment and Supply. Hey, how you doing? Merry Christmas. Look at these vehicles from Myers Equipment, and they snuck yeah. Santa in here. Now, if you're looking for a Christmas gift, here's some ideas right here. Go buy Myers Equipment. They got some great ideas. So, coming up next, what's a parade without the Shriners? <laughs> I love the Shriners. They do so much and have for years for our community. You got to love somebody that wants to give back. And we talk about that and we talk about our Grand Marshal, Nelda Knight, and the job that she does. And these people are just like that. And she reaches out to them all the time. Watch out. This guy may run over us here. He can't drive good now. But uh, these guys have served. Uh, our community for so long and they have some really neat vehicles as we see coming up next here and i'm glad they know what they're doing oh okay got his hand on the throttle thank goodness <laughs> well i don't know he keeps goosing it more shriners to come and look at that automobile i think he wants to race Our Shriners continuing through. We want to thank them for being a part of our 12th annual Dexter Parade. All right, here comes Doug Ward and his new brand of AirServe. Doug Ward, formerly Dublin Heating and Air, coming through as a vehicle in the parade. We want, to, we want to thank Doug and Nicole Ward. Coming up next, Pack 65 from First United Methodist Church. Oh, look at these workers now. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. You cannot go wrong putting your kids in scouts now. What what does it do for our community and for those young men? Yeah, and look at the leaders that are coming through that help them, that are right there with them. Six, seven, eight people walking along there with them and many more behind the scenes that do so much for our youth. Okay, I don't want to miss Baker Baptist Church uh, from Rents. I want to thank them for being in the parade. They're in this parade every year. And they continue to come through here. Brother Joey Dyers is the pastor at Baker. And uh, they do a wonderful job. They're on fire for the Lord, and we want to thank them. Not as much for being in the parade, but what they do for the kingdom of God. Baker Baptist Church. Yeah, man, you set a mouthful there. I mean, they are on mission. You see them out in the community. They're working for the good Lord. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, we've got the Ravens coming right. through next. Yes, sir. Right. Hello. Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right. That's your, that's your travel team, uh, one of the travel football teams we have going on right now. Good to see them out in this, teaching these young men not only how to compete on the field, but how to give back to the community off the field. Now, Coming up next, Bill Adams. He's another candidate. Well, we've got candidates coming everywhere through here. Bill Adams, a candidate for probate judge in Lawrence County. And coming up next, here's somebody we want to vote for. Vote for Jesus. Jesus for King. How about that? Philip Lord driving that truck there. Uh, one of our residents here in Dexter. What a great idea, Philip. Let me ask you, where did y'all get this? With all the election going on, I like the idea. Who come up with this? My wife, Rennie, and she sure did. And all. it was a great idea. Vote for Jesus. You take him into your heart. He's the yeah. one that tells the truth and nothing but the truth. Amen. Great idea. That's very creative. But 
Vote for Jesus. Jesus for king there. Wonderful idea right there. What church? Buckhorn? Buckhorn Methodist. I, I wanted to make sure I was right there. Buckhorn United Methodist. What a great idea. That's wonderful, man. Warms your heart, doesn't it? It does. Here comes uh, Nathan Slater's company, Premier Heating and Air, with a vehicle in here. He had a young man driving a truck here, throwing out a little candy. He even brought the pet along with him. We've been talking about First Lawrence Bank. You see them in the backdrop. Here they come, throwing candy at us. Don't hurt us there. Merry Christmas. Well, we got some good candy throwers. Wow, what a rig. Let's talk about it. And we have coming up here, Dexter Meat Company. And uh, we are sitting right outside of Dexter Meat's uh, well, uh, business here. Pork chops. <laughs> Cooking. Where's Matt at? On the back. Let me see if I can get him to say a word here. He, he, he travels all over the place here. Let me see if I can get Matt to talk to me just a minute. What a big rig here, Matt. How you Merry doing today? Christmas. Merry Christmas to y'all, too. Well, we thank y'all for being a part of the Christmas parade oh, yeah. today. Yeah. And, uh, and also, uh, Matt, at Dexter Meat, y'all always support the community. That's right. That's uh, whether right. it's football or back. parades or whatever. That's but right. Thank y'all for what y'all doing. Yes, in the sir. Community. Yes, sir. Good Merry, to see y'all. Merry Christmas. Glad y'all came to Dexter today. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Mad South, Dexter Meat Company, and they also travel all over the Southeast. Uh, in all kind of competitions, and they win those competitions is what's really good. But uh, Dexter Meat Company is fairly a new business here in Dexter, but sure uh, seems like uh, they've been here a while. As much does. meat as we buy from them, but and and you know Matt tells me that he has so much business that comes from Dublin, and we want to thank y'all for coming and supporting Dexter Meat Company. Coming up next, Northwest Larns Little Raider Cheerleaders. Let's listen to this cheer here. The holidays are a time for giving thanks. At Dublin Nissan, we're thankful every day that you trust us for the right vehicle at the right price. Now at Dublin Nissan, drive the Ultima Platinum for as low as $28,325. New used, drive home in a new ride for the holidays. Now at Dublin Nissan, drive the Rogue S for as low as $22,855. Sales, service, and satisfaction. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you will ever need. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. Coming up next, Merry Christmas from Malone Store. Uh, we go by this store all the time, don't we? Yeah, we sure do. Uh, they do a lot for the community out there and glad to have them uh, serving. Lord. <laughs> well, we, <laughs> we, 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 we got the city manager picking up candy here. Um, all right. Coming up, Meg Greer. Meg Greer, another candidate for probate judge. And somebody's back there throwing candy everywhere. We got a lot of candy on the street. We just had a little, little bit. Of the Lighthouse Adult Daycare Center. Merry Christmas. Yeah, absolutely. We were talking about nailed a while ago. Massingale Expert Services flying through right here. Uh, <laughs> the parade's kind of speeding up on us, so y'all hang with us. We may have to do slow mo here. Got us a Corvette we coming. do have a Corvette coming through here. Can't hardly hear it coming. There you go. All right, more candy. Yes, sir. And now we've got the Lawrence County Schools and the Lawrence County Board of Education. This is one of the buses that was bought with your splash money, e splash money. So this is your e splash at work right here. Uh, the Lawrence County Board of Education, 
We want to thank our Lawrence County Schools for being a part of our parade today. And they do a wonderful job, all of our Leanne Tribble right there. Let me get, see if I can get a word right here. Leanne, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to y'all. Who you got with you here? I've got the Lawrence County Board members and my daughter Kate. <laughs> okay, you got some good ones here. Yeah. Kenny, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to y'all. And Kenny, Merry Christmas. <laughs> good to see y'all. Orange County Board coming through. I got you. <laughs> Been a good parade so far, and you know, always coming up toward the end is going to be that Raider Brigade. And again, we have uh, been proud to be out today. Wish all of you Merry Christmas. And our heart and our uh, wishes go out to Nelda Knight, the Grand Marshal. We love Nelda Knight. She is such an integral part of this community. She has helped so many people. When Nelda calls you, ladies and gentlemen, you, you answer the phone. When we go around and see people for the uh, Alzheimer's awareness, Nelda just says, can, you, can we speak to them a minute? We just want to speak to them a minute in the hall, whether it be a doctor or a lawyer or whomever it may be, the mayor, anyone, they'll answer whenever Nelda Knight calls. If you don't know Nelda, you've missed a real treat. You should reach out to her, look her up on Facebook. She's right here in Dexter, Georgia. She started this parade because uh, once uh, Cecil Passmore and everyone here decided to no longer do the Possum Hollow Fair, well, Nelda said Dexter needs to do something. Dexter's an integral part of our community, and, and she knows how to get things done. A real worker and a real servant, a member of Dexter Baptist Church, but she gives not only of her time, but her resources to many other churches in Lawrence County. It would surprise you to know what Nelda does. She's a real example for all of us, ladies and gentlemen, a real example of servanthood, of someone who looks for nothing in return but to do what's best for her community and what's best for her Lord. Absolutely. Well, let's enjoy our West Lawrence Raider Brigade.
Raider Brigade under the direction of Mr. Richard Horn. Oh, what an outstanding group. They got a lot of young people involved with that program. It's uh, mentored, it's helped uh, establish many people on a good routine in their lives from a middle school even down to the uh, the elementary schools where that band program starts. And hats off to Michael Dukes for the job he's done over the years. And now, with here comes the mayor, Mr. Danny Whittle, our mayor. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone. and miles of grass to mow. So you're going to need a machine built to perform day in and day out, season after season. You're going to need a gravel built to mow the distance. Now at Myers Equipment and Supply in Dublin. Jeff Shepard here back in Roach Farm and Garden where a hunting season never ends. We got a full line of car hearts from your head to your toe, insulated bibs and jackets. Georgia boots from casual to hunting to your steel toe work boot. Grills, fryers, griddles from charcoal, gas to pellet. And don't forget we got every flavor pellet you can think of. And if you're looking for a knife, they got a full line of case. If you've got something to feed, we got a full line of feed. Anything that you can imagine. And pet supplies, we got them. Come check out these gliders. They rock. Best of all, they're locally made. You want pecans, chocolate covered glaze, or just plain? You better hurry, because we can't keep them in stock. Feeders, trail cameras, flashlights, and more. Whole corn and corn on the cob. Having trouble with that big buck? Don't forget, Voodoo's at the counter. Come see us at Roach Farm and Garden. Two locations, Wrightsville and Dublin. Standing here with our partner, Peyton Towns. Yeah, you got to watch out for Peyton. Yeah, he's liable to take your picture. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> Just get the good side if there is one. You're worried about what I write. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Okay, coming up next, our West Lawrence High School basketball coach, John Stanley. How y'all doing? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right. Coming up next, our uh, Lawrence County probate judge election, Mr. Grady Cullins. There he is. Good looking coat right here. Hold on, brother. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. How y'all doing? We're doing good. Uh, good to hear. Talk to us about the probate judge. Well, running for probate judge, we're out there. Got a few things I want to change with the court. It's been going good, and I think we're looking forward to a good election cycle coming up. Okay. Good luck. Merry Christmas. Appreciate it. Merry Christmas to y'all. Vote for Grady Collins. And his dad is Mr. Andy Collins. And let me tell you. What a wonderful family right there. Okay, coming up next, Bryant's Auto Equipment and Repair. Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas. Coming on through. Yes, sir. Uh, we've got J.R. Watkins products. Merry Christmas. Coming up next, Pleasant Hill Baptist Church from Cadwell, Georgia. Yeah, Pleasant Hill Baptist Church, what workers in the community. I mean, they have been around for a long time in service. And again, that's one of the churches that Nelda visits and is a part of. And look at this red truck. Man, that's that's beautiful. Day. Merry Christmas. Are you, sir, how's Who's it going? Who's these beautiful girls? This is Pleasant there? Hill Baptist. This is our uh, children and student ministry. Oh, absolutely. That's right. That's right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, that is so sweet. Good looking truck. Chris Kersey with Fairview Park Hospital. He's over the radiology department and a wonderful church right here. I'm telling you. That'll warm your heart, won't it? <laughs> oh, now here's some of our friends here. Commander James Drury. Look at all these. Now, I don't know what that guy's doing up there. What, what's Scott doing up there? Thank you for your service. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Appreciate you. Merry Christmas. 
American Legion, they do a wonderful, wonderful job throughout the United States. It's a great organization. Dexter Baptist Church coming up. Dexter Baptist, home of Nell tonight. There's Calvin, Pastor Calvin. Merry Christmas. Let me get Calvin over here. Calvin, Merry Christmas, brother. Merry Christmas to you. Tell us about Dexter Baptist Church. Well, we are a uh, conservative Southern Baptist Church. Uh, love to love people, and we're uh, here to, to serve the community and, that's, and share the love of Christ. And what about our Grand Marshal today, Miss Nell tonight? Oh my. <laughs> we don't have enough time, do we? No, we don't. No, Miss Nelda is a great, great lady. She's a wonderful member of our church. Thank you, brother. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thanks. A wonderful, wonderful church, Dexter Baptist Church. And look at these beautiful kids right here. You can't have Christmas without Jesus. What a wonderful sign there. Yeah. We've had some great entries today, haven't we? Yeah, look at this one. First place Southeastern U.S. Hay Contest. Now, let me tell you, that's a, that's a bell of hay. You talking about a winner right here. I hope Peyton's getting a picture of that too now. First place. We're from the country and we like it that way. You better believe it. On that good looking John Deere with that Bay Heller in the back. Folks, we are in downtown Dexter, Georgia. And where else can you have a John Deere Baylor coming through right here? Jeff Bacon. The winner of this contest, that's a good looking rig right here. Coming up next, Will Farrell. Will Farrell is in the house. I gotta talk to Will Farrell right here. How are you, Will? Santa's coming, Santa's coming! <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, Jay. Don Avery with the uh, CEO of Fairview Park Hospital. Our workshop is always open at Fairview Park Hospital. What a difference Fairview has made to our community now. What's, how'd you get Will Farrell up there? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Stanley Darnell coming through here in that good-looking Ford tractor, man. Man, that's nice right there. Merry Christmas, Stanley. Ron still on Fairview Park Hospital. I'm gonna have to get away from him. I cannot believe that. They get more creative every year at Fairview Hospital. All righty, coming right on through here. So fresh, so clean car wash. They will keep you clean now, let me tell you. Good looking vehicles. Mary, that's a beautiful little girl there. Coming up next, Trey Taylor. He is also a candidate for uh, Lawrence County probate judge. Uh, I'm sorry, my mistake. He's a candidate for district attorney here. Trey, Merry Christmas, brother. Kids in the van. Absolutely. How do you not vote for those kids right there? Good looking children. All right, coming on through. Okay, we're getting kind of to the end of our parade here. We've had a lot of entries. Uh, here's Marshall Floyd. He is a candidate for Lawrence County Sheriff. Merry Christmas, Mr. Floyd. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Merry Christmas. Got a good Christmas gift coming through here. I think Marshall's giving this Ford away. Is that right? I got him nodding on camera. That's right. Merry. Oh, <laughs> Merry Christmas, y'all. Merry Christmas, guys. Marshall Floyd, candidate for Lawrence County Sheriff. Coming up next in this good-looking cutlass right here. C28 Camaro. Merry Christmas. Good-looking car. That is a good-looking All right, got a Pontiac Trans Am right behind it. Love old cars, don't we? A classic look, isn't it? Throwing candy out with one hand, driving with the other. Merry Christmas. And here comes the end of our parade here. It's been a great parade today, our 12th annual Dexter Christmas Parade. And look, at what a way to end right here with that good looking little girl on a John Deere tractor. And here's the man of the hour right here.
Santa Claus is in the house. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas Santa. And of course, Ron, when we see the horses, we know that's the end. Time to giddy up. <laughs> Why do they put the horses at the end? <laughs> I won't drop that on you right now. <laughs> but hey, we have truly enjoyed ourselves. A lot of work has gone into this parade through the help of so many people, but especially Nell tonight, our Grand Marshal. I'm glad that they talked her into it, and they literally had to talk her into to being able to uh, accept that honor of the Grand Marshal. So we love Nelda. We love all of you. We appreciate our viewers. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, James. Merry Christmas.